The odds of pulling a native born salmon out of the Snake River in Idaho is pretty slim. In the 1950s, according to the Natural Resource Defense Council, 150,000 adult salmon and steelhead returned in the spring and summer to spawn. These days, it's less than 10,000. Congressman Mike Simpson believes half a century of failure has been enough. On Saturday, Congressman Simpson kind of swung for the fences with the news that he plans to propose removing four hydroelectric dams on the Snake River within the next decade at a cost of $33.5 billion. He says this will help stop the decades-long decline of Idaho's dwindling salmon population. Idaho salmon are ultra marathoners. They make an 1,800-mile round trip from Idaho's highest mountains to the Pacific and then back, climbing 1.3 miles in altitude in the process. Our high elevation rivers are cold and clean, which makes them the perfect spawning grounds for these fish. But since the dams were built back in the 60s and 70s, native Idaho salmon have well, teetered on the brink of extinction. Simpson says the dams create barriers, as you probably can figure out, so they can't get past them. And they also create slow moving reservoirs of water that, quote, imperil their exist existence, end quote. Currently, all of Idaho's wild steelhead and salmon are listed as threatened or endangered. He says we've already spent $17 billion on salmon recovery and management, but only about 4% of the historical total actually have returned to spawn in Idaho. About 3,800 wild adult spring Chinook salmon in 2019 to be specific, and we used to see tens of thousands of these. However, those dams provide flood mitigation, irrigation to farmland and the West Coast's farthest inland port in Lewiston. They also have power supplied to millions of people across the Northwest. Simpson says part of that $33.5 billion would go towards funding or finding ways to replace the dam's key roles in energy, agriculture, and transportation. Here's what he had to say about that. My staff and I approached this challenge with the idea that there must be a way to restore Idaho salmon and keep the four lower Snake River dams. But after exhausting dozens of possible solutions, we weren't able to find one that could control poor ocean conditions, warming rivers, and the four lower snake dams. In the end, we realized there is no viable path that can allow us to keep the dams in place. I want to be clear that I'm not certain removing these dams will restore Idaho's salmon and prevent their extinction. But I am certain that if we do not take this course of action, we are condemning Idaho's salmon to extinction. There's the other cost of that too, the salmon of saving them would likely reshape waterfronts in both Lewiston and Clarkston. Lewiston Tribune reports that tug and barge transportation between Lewiston and the Tri-Cities would stop and the hydropower would no longer be produced on the lower Snake River. In a statement, Port of Lewiston says Congressman Simpson's proposal to end salmon litigation by breaching the four lower Snake River dams does little to restore abundant fish runs. His proposal throws billions of taxpayer dollars at unproven ideas and provides no explanation on how his ideas would be implemented. Well, as Simpson says, for his part, it, that $33.5 billion would be used to compensate industries that would be most affected by their removal. It would also be used to protect the four remaining dams. Still a long way out from any kind of movement on this, to be sure. But if this legislation were to pass, those dams could be breached beginning in 2030.